tongues taste the air of time blown past fallen sand. Greetings to you, fellow travellers of the Golden Path. Here are a couple more tricks and tips to improve your axe fighting style. In this one, we are essentially fainting high and then inverting the axe mid swing to attack low. If the person overcommits to this, they'll put their axe up above their head, which means that they leave their entire belly open for a strike. This attack can be greatly supplemented with the offhand. This is a technique I used to use when using heavy one-handed swords in reenactment, was as you take your swing, you can push with your alternate hand to give it that little bit of extra momentum so it moves faster. It also means that your arm is being propelled forward into a position where you can use it to parry any strike that comes from them. So it's a pretty useful tool to use, actually. Once you enter a grapple, you'll need to work out how to actually land an attack. As soon as you're that close to them, it's fairly easy for them to stop you from doing it. What I do is I attack high, even if they've essentially got my hand, uh, their hand on my axe, I'll attack towards their head. And when their arm is nice and high, like I show here, I then invert the axe and go low and attack the armpit. Uh, it's something that people do naturally because no one wants to get hit in the head, so this is quite a good way of just sort of like forcing them to give you an opening to attack. Of course, if you're really good friends with your sparring partner, you can always elbow them in the face, punch their hand off your axe and cut them on the swing back. Uh, but obviously there's something that you need to be quite chummy with the person you're fighting with to pull off. I hope I've given you something else to learn here today. Thanks for watching. Consider liking and subscribing, and long live the fighters.